Hey, this is WWE legend and Hall of Famer Road Warrior Animal, and I'm here in the great state of Texas. I'm at Booker T's Reality of Wrestling Camp, and I'm telling you it's a fantasy camp and we're having a great time. So if you got any interest in becoming a pro wrestler or getting in the ring to be able to hear the cheers in a WWE universe, come to Reality of Wrestling at Booker T. And don't miss it, because if you do, it'll be, oh, what a rush. When you talk about the toughest tag teams of all time, the greatest tag teams of all time, the Road Warriors is always at the top, or at least in the conversation. In your uh, mind, who are some of the tag teams that you worked with that you thought uh, may also fit that bill? Well, I, you know, Hawk and I have wrestled a lot of great tag teams. You know, being the only team to win every tag team belt you could win, we face guys like the Powers of Pain, like Demolition, like the Heart Foundation, like, you know, Booker T and Stevie Ray, Harlem Heat was another one of those teams, you know. Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express, the Funks, the Briscoes, the Andersons, man. Every top tag team in wrestling we faced. But I think we had some of our best battles was with against the Four Horsemen. Because there were these four guys. You had Lex Luger, you had Ric Flair, you had Tully Blanchard, and you had Arn Anderson, man. Those were those were a force we reckon with. Do you see anybody from the current roster or anybody that you would have in mind if you wanted to have another tag match that you think would be a good partner? Well, I mean, in today, going back and looking at some of our own photos and some of our old matches, the only uh, the only other partner that I could ever see would be a guy like, oh, you know, Rusev maybe, or you know, a guy like Ryback, someone that fits the part about being a road warrior. Yeah, you can't have, uh, you just can't be an everyday Joe and then call yourself a, a badass, so to speak. You know, you have to have the look and you have to have the presence. And uh, it's more about just putting tights on and getting in the ring. And I know you've been asked about this somewhat recently, but I have to ask you about the comments from this uh, tag team, The Ascension, where they're bringing up the Road Warriors. I know it's uh, it's all part of the show and everything, but uh, how do you feel about those guys? you think they're ever going to be Road Warrior material? You know, uh... Do I think they're going to be Road Warrior material the Ascension? No, I don't. And I'm not saying that against the Ascension. They're two good guys, went to wrestling camp. They all mean well. But uh, there are certain, I should say, genres or certain levels in pro wrestling that you should not touch. You should not touch a Hulk Hogan or a Ric Flair or The Rock or Stone Cold. And you should not touch the Road Warriors. Uh, there's never going to be another Road Warriors because we were the innovators of a lot of things. You cannot, you know, many invitation, no duplications. And that, they, that's a saying that goes on forever. Um, I feel bad for the Ascension because, you know, they, they're great guys with great attitudes, but you really, you don't touch something that was untarnished, man. You got, you should just leave it alone. And, you know, you got to put somebody, like, we we fought against the Briscoes for reason. I would say Jerry and Jack Briscoe, great world champions, tag team, both individual tag team champions. But you know what? The Warriors are coming. Build your opponent instead of trying to say, hey, we are as tough as the road warriors. In the eyes of the fans, you know, you got 21 years of Hawk and I kicking butt, and it'll never be duplicated again.